When you have a trading loss, how well do you handle that? Do you get angry? Do you get vengeful? Do you yell? Do you throw things? Do you take it calmly? Do you think positively? I think this is something that we need to talk about today because a lot of people don't know what to do when they have a trading loss. There are a lot of different options, anything from throwing out your trading plan to not caring at all. You have both ends of the spectrum, but I wanna give you guys three specific tips that you can use to help you handle trading losses day in and day out so that you don't get burnt out, so that you can stay positive, and so that you can continue the trading game. So with that, let's jump in. All right, so today we're gonna talk about how to handle trading losses. Three very specific and actionable tips that I use personally that help keep my mindset right, keep my attitude aligned, stay positive, be able to keep moving forward with trading because overall, it's a numbers game. It's not an in the moment game. So I wanna start off with tip number one. I make sure to double check my trading plan after I take a loss and I make sure that I did not break it. Now, if you don't know what a trading plan is, I will put a video up right here. You can check that one out. That'll give you a better idea of what a trading plan is. But what you should have is literally written down, whether it's just on a note on your desktop or on a scrap of paper by your trading platform, you need to have your trading plan written out, specifically step-by-step, -step, where you take your entries, how you manage your trades, when do you take a winner, when do you take a loser, all of these things are super important and you need to have it written down. So go over that trading plan. That's what I do. I go through it. I make sure I didn't break any of my plan. And as long as I didn't, I treat the loss like a win. And I know that sounds a little weird, but it's really important because you don't want to associate negativity with losses and positivity with wins. You wanna stay positive whether you're winning or losing because remember, if you're trading in the live markets, then you already have an edge because you went and back tested your trade set up 50 to 100 times and you know you have edge because if you haven't back tested, you shouldn't be live trading. So with that being said, you can treat your loss as, okay, I got one of my losses out of the way. I know they're coming. I got one out of the way. Maybe that means tomorrow I'm gonna have a win or maybe that means my next trade today is gonna be a winner. You have to view your losses and your wins positively and one way to do it is to go through and say yes i stuck to my plan i did not break it i'm proud of myself way to go and we're moving on to the next trade tip number two in helping you to manage your trading losses is go exercise this is something i don't hear spoken of very often online on youtube in blogs in the trading community anyway after i take a loss one of the first things i do is i lock up my trading platform, I get everything set up, I make sure everything's okay, I shut it down, throw on my running shorts, and I'll hit the trail for a few miles. I'll go get good exercise in, and while I'm running, one thing it does for me is it just allows my mind to wander and sort of think through the trade, and sort of, sort of fully realize and appreciate maybe what went wrong and what didn't. Now, in today's trade, I took a loss, and I went out immediately, got on the trail, took a run, and while I was running, I just kind of went through my head and I just said, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. I took my trade set up, I obeyed my plan, everything was perfect in that regard, the trade just didn't work. Now, if you get mad about a trade not working, then you're not truly understanding this game because it's not a game of day-to-day win-loss, win-loss, it's a large numbers game, it's a law of large numbers. Losses are just part of flipping a coin, which is basically what we're doing. So on my run today, I got some exercise in, which is great for your health. It's gonna keep you in the game. It's gonna help you stay more positive because if you sit at home, and I've done this before, believe me, I've sat at home and stewed about a loss before. And then by the evening, you feel like, ah, oh, I just sat here and I was negative all day. I didn't exercise, I didn't get outside. I didn't really do anything fun. I sort of punished myself for that loss. And that's the thing you don't wanna do. Never punish yourself for a loss that you take when you're following your trading plan because it's part of the game. The losses are basically as important as the wins because they're all gonna happen and it's just about accumulating occurrences. Put the trade on day after day, month after month, year after year, 
and you're going to have losers, you're going to have winners, but they're, it doesn't matter when they come, what order they come in. The overall goal is the large number. What is your percent win rate after 100 trades, after 50 trades? Those are the important numbers. So get outside, exercise. It's great for your health. It's going to help you maintain a positive mindset and you're going to come back home and feel like going over your trades, maybe journaling, doing something productive. So when I came back from my run today, I dove right in, looked at the trade again, made sure I didn't break my plan, double checked all my rules, and then just said, okay, that's it. I uploaded my file to TraderView and looked at my stats and said, okay, I lost a little bit of ground today, but that's the plan. I'm always two to one in my reward to risk targets. So two steps forward, one step back. It's fine with me, it's part of the game. So that's step number two. Now moving on to step number three, this one's also really important, but it is do something productive fairly quickly. For me, so what I mean by this is, I went for my run today, and while I was running, I came up with the idea for shooting this video and talking to you all. So to be productive today and to feel like I, I grabbed the day by the reins and I made it mine, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a video today on an important topic that will help the trading community who subscribes to my channel. So that's where this video is coming from. I had a loss, and to be productive, I'm gonna put out what I like to do to handle those losses so that hopefully I can help you guys and that makes me feel good about things because I feel like I'm helping the community. So if this video is helping you, jump down in the comments real quick, do me a quick favor, just leave me a comment and let me know how this video helped you. If you have a specific way that you manage your losses, I'd love to hear about it. So put that in the comment section, let me know. If I helped you, let me know as well. And while you're down there, hit that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So that's my third step is to do something productive. Now, some examples, let me give you a couple examples. Productivity, um, exercising could be considered being productive. That's something that you need to get done nearly every day. What you can do is you could also shut down your trading station, go mow the lawn. You could go, go do the dishes. You could go take the kids for a walk. Go take the dog for a walk. You could, um, I don't know, paint the fence that you've been meaning to paint. Just doing something that is productive. And what I recommend is get a list and write down things that would be considered productive to you. So if you have a list of chores you need to do or, or errands you need to run, write those down so that on a day that you do take a loss, go ahead and just pick one off the list, go do it, feel productive, end the day on a positive note, and then reload and get ready for the next trading day. So let's run through and review the three steps that I just gave you. First, check your trading plan. Make sure you didn't break it because if you did, that should not be good. You should not reward yourself or feel positive about breaking your plan. If you didn't break your plan, you won. Move on to the next day. Number two, go out and exercise. Whether that's doing some push-ups in the backyard, walking around the block, taking the dog out, going for a run, hitting the gym for a weight session, getting on the bike, getting in the pool, whatever you like to do for exercise, do that right after you take your trading loss, you're gonna see that you're gonna process that trade while you're exercising. It's gonna help you see the positive points of what happened. It's gonna help shift your focus from the negative to the positive, which is very important for staying in the game. The last thing you wanna do is throw out your trading plan, get really upset, and then not be trading anymore. Then what? You wanna stay in this game. Don't stray, don't go negative, don't go dark. If you're feeling negative or dark about your trades, comment below, let me know because I will help talk you through things. I'll help you pick out an activity you can do. Communicate with me, I wanna help. And number three, do something productive with your day. You're gonna be shocked at how good you feel and how it can offset that initial, oh, I took a loss. Being productive can really offset that feeling and it just helps increase your longevity in the trading game. If this video helped you, drop down that comment section, leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you all. I hope this video was helpful and until next time, check your trade plan, exercise, be productive. All right, we'll see you next time.